Is shining and I just turned in my exam and I'm in a good mood so I thought I would do a little tiny tiny thrift haul because I went to the thrift store the day before yesterday and I found something really good first off I bought two shirts this one is like a tunic kind of shirt it's quite long almost a dress and it's from this uh, Swedish brand that I'm not sure how to pronounce uh, Gudrun Hjöden be my guess but I'm not sure it's a little like mommy like spelt mommy kind of vibe but I also like it I mainly like the the cut and the fabric of it and then the pattern is kind of secondary I do like the gray color in the store I thought it was green actually because of the warm lights in there but I'm gonna give the pattern a chance because this far I have worn it with just the pattern out and it's worked fine I just need the rest of the outfit to be really quiet and toned down. Um, I just, I'm not too into printed patterns, I've just found out about myself. So my thought was, if I end up not liking the print of this, I can always dye it because it's 100% cotton. I think it would look good in dark brown or black or something. Another big flowy shirt. I just know about myself at this point that I really like these shirts and somehow I feel like I have more button-ups than I have these types of shirts. I love to wear them over pants and I love to wear them over dresses, over skirts with pants underneath. Uh, it's just a silhouette that I really feel comfortable in and that I find flattering. And this is again, it's like a nice soft cotton. Then we have this baby it's a leather bag in turquoise <laughs> it's a little bit eccentric but as i found that my style kind of has been toning down more and more in what i wear like for example today i'm wearing cream and gray i think it's really fun to have an a pop of color accessory like this 
it is one of those, uh, to me, it reminds me of my grandmother, my paternal grandmother. Uh, it's like a backpack, which I don't think I'm going to use that function. I kind of don't like it that much. I, I would rather wear a real backpack. I understand it's practical, but I, I want to wear this as a shoulder bag. And I also really like that they have some of the hide with the fur on it on the middle part here. So I thought that was pretty fun. I've attached this uh, glass flower charm. It's not a charm actually, it's a necklace that I thought might be a little bit too, too much for me and my personal style to wear as a necklace, but I really liked the, the shape of it. Cute little bag, I thought that was fun. I'm gonna see if I use it and if I don't, I'm gonna sell it again. <laughs> okay, and then the main event these boots. I I own another pair from this brand that I found at a swap spot for free and then I resold them. Sold. <laughs> I really really love these ones. I love the color and I love the height and they are lined which has been great for living in Denmark. They've actually been relevant almost all year except for <laughs> the height of summer. Before these shoes or in my life, they had a little bit of a rough going, I think. Because there is this... I think it's all on the right boot here. Yeah. Um, first of all, I've sewn up a patch here. You can't see it that well, maybe. There. I've sewn this. Um, and then second of all, there is this gash here in the leather. Um, opening all the way up to the inside, the lining, which is really impractical here in winter with snow and rain because it's right near the bottom of the shoe, so you do get a lot of water in that way. And I'm not sure if a cobbler could fix that. If someone could, I would love it. There's also the issue of this lining being kind of worn out. I don't know how much you can see that, but um, they're just starting to be quite used. So. I've looked up this brand online to see if I could find the same model or something that looked similar. On the same day that I went to the thrift store, I was looking at the same model that I then found. I was looking at this model of boot online at a secondhand website before I went thrifting. And then in the thrift store, they only had one boot out because they didn't want you to steal it. So I found this one, I just saw it, I was like, no freaking way, no way, because I had just looked at it. And it was in my size. Like, I've never really been a boot girly uh, until I got a pair this summer that I then didn't wear until this winter because we had like a huge snowstorm. And as I mentioned, there's a hole in my other go-to winter boots. So uh, I started using these other boots I have that are zip up to my calf. And I found myself really enjoying them. This model is just like a lot wider and I think it's also a size bigger, maybe two. So I was afraid that I'd, I had actually gotten them in a size too small. But then I took the sole out and everything was good. So otherwise, my mom is going to get them because they are also kind of her taste. And it's so funny. Uh, when I was like a teenager, I really, I didn't like brown. I think I started liking brown in 2019. For some reason, it just wasn't really in my repertoire before then. I, I had my black Doc Martens and that was like my whole identity. And my mom, she has a lot of these like brown boots and like very duck shaped boots and shoes, very ergonomical. And when I was a teenager, I was like, that's kind of like it's very mom style, you know? And now I love those types of shoes. And we share taste in shoe types a lot more. I think that's just kind of funny. So I know never to say never <laughs> about any type of fashion element because you never know what influences are gonna hit you later in life or a, m a month from now. So I've just been unwinding a lot of yarn these days because I really enjoy the process of doing it. It's quite meditative. This one's a really big skein, so it's gonna take a while. 
this used to be my grandmother's, so I like to think of the amount of yarn we've both unwound on this. It's kind of magical. Well, as I said in the beginning, I just turned in my exam. It's a synopsis and then I'll have an oral exam based on my synopsis on the 26th. So until then, I just have to prepare the presentation that I'm going to do and go through the material in what I wrote and what we've generally gone through. That's my plan. Now I'm going to go into the city and I'm going to treat myself to something, I think. <laughs> bought some cute things yesterday. I both went into thrift stores, I used a gift card, and I bought myself something uh, on behalf of my parents. They wanted to gift me this. <laughs> new Moomin cup. Oh, so I bought myself a new Moomin cup on behalf of my parents as a gift for turning in my exam. Just a, an excuse really to buy it. <laughs> it's this one, she's called Filiunk and she loves to clean and work in her garden and she has small kids. Very cute, I love this color. And then I went into a thrift store and I found this purple, very heavy glass. I've been using it for water and kombucha. In the thrift store, I also bought these tiny old match boxes. Um, I especially love this one. It's constructed out of wood and then there's a little embroidery attached. Very cute. And this one says 25 and it's supposed to be for like a wedding anniversary, but I'm 25. So it's, it's me, I'm 25. I also bought this essential oil called English Rose. I'm diffusing it right now. It's like, it's sweet and floral, but it's, um, it's less like cloyingly perfumey than other floral scents. It's a little much, but I like it and it's different from the lemon, geranium, and lavender that I already have. In that same store I bought this bracelet. I was really debating it because, you know, I can make jewelry for myself, especially when it's just beads, but these are like matte pieces of amber and it has this little function where you screw these two beads into each other and that's the the clasp instead of having a clasp or instead of being elastic and I couldn't make that myself and I just really loved the the feeling of it and I thought it would be a fun like memory to commemorate this time in my life about to start my fourth semester exciting times and then I had a gift card I used for this it's a face mist I have some other products from this brand uh, that I quite like, especially the scent of. I've shown the soap before. It's a hand soap and I'm gonna buy a new one when we run out because I really like it. Supposed to help plump and hydrate and balance, promote a healthy and clear complexion. I, I mainly just really love the smell of it and the feeling of like... And it was one of their cheaper products, to be honest. So, lots of good little things. And yesterday I also went to the library and I picked up uh, three books. These two based on the way they looked and the writing on the back. And this one uh, is actually written by someone I had as a teacher. I thought that would be fun. She brought it and she mentioned the process and stuff, so I have a little bit of insight into it, but I never read it. Yesterday really felt like a big spending day for me. I bought one, two, three, four, four things from new. Um, I normally never do that. And so something even like taking out nice books at a library can feel very luxurious and nice. <laughs> so you can do the self-care a bit without the consumerism. Today is another fun day. I have a friend date with Johanna. 
we're gonna go try some vegan pastries, cakes. I have also been sprouting alfalfa seed in this milk carton, empty stabbing holes for water to get through because you need to rinse them twice a day, morning and night. Then they grow inside of there. I need to free these and then I'm gonna put them in the fridge. There's so much in here. And these taste really good on sandwiches and on top of soups and stews and salads. And they're slam packed with a lot of micronutrients, so. I'd say they almost taste like peas. Thank you. 